In this video, we're going to discuss the differences between Python dynamic and static typing. So Python uses dynamic typing, where the data type of the objects are determined while the program executes. This means that we can create variables without having to specify the data type. Languages like Java, C, C++ use static typing, which require the programmer to define the data type of all variables and function parameters. So let's try a quick example in Python and just show you how dynamic typing works. So let's first create a function called sum that adds a and b together, and it will return the value of a plus b. And then to call the function, we simply say sum and pass in some data like these integers 4, comma 2. And a will become 4, b will become 2, and it's going to return the sum of 4 plus 2, and then this will return 6. But in order to see the value, we should probably print it out. Let's print sum of 4 and 2. Okay. There's 6. Okay, cool. And we can try it with different integer values, like 14 and 3 to get 17. Cool. And also, we can print the sum of floating point numbers, 2.3 comma 4. 4.1. Check this out. So that printed out the 6.39. And I can even pass in print sum of hello space comma world. And I can even sum up two strings together and it prints one string. And although these are all different types. We got integers, floating point, and strings. They're all going to the same sum function. And I didn't have to specify what type of data is coming in for these parameters because Python is a dynamically typed programming language. Whereas other programming languages like Java or C++, you have to specify whether A and B are int, double, string, or whatever they may be. But you don't have to do that in Python. Python is smart enough to figure out that, hey, I'm passing in integers, so A and B must also be integers. Or hey, I'm passing in floating point or strings, so A and B must be floating point or strings, and so on. So that's what dynamically type means in Python. And it's definitely a very great feature, and it makes programming in Python a lot simpler. 